before all that, some of Yorkshire's dairy farmers are turning to state-of-the-art robotic milking systems to help improve the production of their herds and their quality of life. Traditionally, dairy farmers had to work very long hours with very little downtime. With more details, here is Harry. Robots, hey, let me explain. Low milk prices, a rise in production costs and long winters have taken their toll. In 2002, there were 1,318 dairy farmers in our region, but now it's a very different picture. The number of producers has almost halved and now stands at 728. About 200 of Britain's dairy farmers are currently using robots to milk their herds. That's 2%. A further 2% are said to be seriously considering the investment. So can robotics help the industry recover from its troubles? Cathy Killick has been to see them in action at a farm in the Dales. On the edge of the Dales outside Skipton, Chelka House Farm perches on its hillside looking the picture of tradition. But in this picturesque setting, a technological revolution is taking place. Max and Ruth Holmes and their son Graham may not look like IT geeks, but they preside over some of the most sophisticated gadgetry, all housed in their brand new cowshed, part funded by the EU. Inside, their dairy herd is in the lap of luxury. The cubicles are the biggest cubicles you can get, so that they've got plenty of room. It's like us having a king-sized bed. They're not just a mat, they're a mattress. They're a mat with a mattress inside of two inch thick. So when they sit on them, they're comfy and insulated. There's even an automatic squeegee that cleans up the cow pats straight into an underfloor tank. But it's in the milking area that technology has really taken over. Whenever a cow feels like it, it can wander into the milking bay where robots get to work. First with a wash and brush up, then lasers read the udder to guide a milking cluster into place. When it's finished, the cow leaves, having effectively milked itself. They have adapted absolutely fantastic, particularly the younger animals, of which, but there again, they've seen nothing else but the new robots. Uh, yeah, they've absolutely taken to it like uh, ducks to water would be the phrase. Upstairs, this computer can tell the farmer not only how much milk each cow is producing, but also how much milk each teat is producing, which means that any health problems could be flagged up very, very early. And it can also adjust the feed that the cows get. So a cow that gives a lot of milk gets a lot of feed back in compensation. It's very, very clever. The cows can do their own thing, giving the farmer more time to cope with calving or welfare. The signs are they like this new life. The cows are interacting with each other, which is great. They're very, very quiet. I mean, you can hear now, uh, it's a really quiet shed, which shows the cows are very content. You're not having much belving or much cows making racket or running around or slipping. They're all very much quiet, sedate, steady, very, very well looked after, so very content. The technology has given this farm new life. Graham was on the verge of giving up dairy farming, but has embraced a high-tech future that should help safeguard UK milk production. Cathy Killick, BBC Look North, Addingham. Fantastic, Addy. Yeah, great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wondering when the robotic newsreaders are coming in, Harry. They're here already. <laughs>